All right, guys, welcome to Flavio Rihanna's MMA show. I'm your host, Flavio Rihanna, brought to you by Four Corner Sports. All right, guys, so um, Sugar Sean O'Malley back in the news once again. All right, had a big interview with uh, Ariel Hawani from MMAfighting.com. Uh, news ended up spelling out. An article came out and it caught my attention, and I wanted to bring it up to you guys. Sugar Sean O'Malley feels that he should not be main eventing any fights due to the amount of money that he's making. Well, I brought it up with uh, the heavy jalapeno himself, Javier, Javier, and I was talking about it on the phone. And I didn't tell him that I was going to make a video about it, but I was talking about it and I'm like, you know what? That's pretty dumb. It's pretty dumb. Um... You're not wanting to make a fight. You're not wanting to fight in the main event because you're not making you're not making the money that you should be. And I thought about it, and I'm like, you know that if you fight in the main event, right, that means that UFC is really trying to push you into that echelon, right? And it just made me think. I'm like, Sean O'Malley in the past says that he doesn't want to fight anybody ranked because you know. He feels like he deserves to get paid more. And this all goes into fighter pay, right? The the big topic of the last two or three years of, sh- you know, should UFC fighters be getting paid a lot more than what they should? And the answer is yes. But in Sugar Sean O'Malley's case, he's an unranked fighter, all right? Has huge popularity, right? Where the casual fan is able, is going to be able to identify him, all right? He's not in the Conor McGregor, you know, stratosphere. He's not in the Jorge Masvidal stratosphere. He's not in the, in the Nick or Nate Diaz stratosphere, all right, or Habib stratosphere. He is like two or three levels below, okay. But he is well known enough that if you walk down the street, you at least know who he is, okay. And he feels like he should be, be getting paid more than what he should to be main eventing. Well, I heavily disagree, all right. And this is coming from a big Sugar Sean O'Malley fan. The reason why I disagree is because, one, he has had a lot of leverage, all right? He has had a lot of things go in his way, okay? You know, we've seen him fight before. Uh, I believe that one of the reasons why, you know, this is probably going to impact him come his next deal is because of the fact of, one, his availability, his, availabil- his availability in the aspect of that he's very injury prone. All right, we've seen in his second USC fight uh, against the Fil- he, I believe he was Filipino when he ended up breaking his leg or uh, what's it called like fracturing you know uh, his tibia or something like that. Right, we've seen it in the Cheeto Vera fight where he had like um, a dead leg. Uh, Cheeto Vera ended up like like leg kicking him right. Right and hit him right in the good spot on the nerf, and the leg ended up, you know, uh, hurting. Right, he had no pressure on that leg whatsoever. Fight had to be displayed onto the floor, where Cheetah Bear ended up dominating. Okay, um, look at the people that he's been fighting. All right, he fought Chris Moutinho, he made that guy into a star. All right, made that guy into a star, but that's also because of uh, Moutinho's style was also, you know, contributed into that. For Eddie Wineland. Old Eddie Wineland from the WEC days, right? Where this guy is a shell of himself, regardless of what the birth certificate has says. He's been through wars, and he's not the same Eddie Wineland from, from years past. He beat up Thomas Almeida, who at one point people were looking at as a very highly good prospect, but he just never could have lived, lived up to that hype, all right? Lost to Mar- Marlon Chito Vera, all right? Um, after beating... After beating Chris Moutinho, oh, I'm sorry, he also lost. He also beat uh, Jose Quiones, right? Who is no longer in, with the UFC. Um, yeah, guys, I just personally feel like it's like who has he beaten? And you know, yeah, you have these highlight real knockouts, right? But the, they're highlight real knockouts against people that don't really have high name value. Now you called out Peter Yan, you called out. Uh, Rob Font, you called out, um, I forgot who else he ended up, Cody Garbrandt, all right, those are bigger echelon names who are ranked, and if he wants to get that money that he is asking for, he's gonna have to beat on, beat on people on like that, all right, 
Now, I understand he is following the, the Chael Sonnen rule, which is actually a very good rule, where you want to fight on the highest point of the card against the 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 lesser, um, what's it called, the easiest fight that you can get possible, okay? And, you know, it's been working out great for him, but at some point, he's going to have to start fighting ranked fighters, all right? He had, a, he had a chance to fight Frankie Edgar, right? But did not take the chance upon it because, one, didn't want to pay so much high in New York in New York State taxes. Completely understand that New York State and California are the two highest, you know, states that charge you the most tax, okay? I believe it's California 1, New York number 2, and he, and he didn't want to pay those uh, taxes uh, to New York State. I completely understand that. Uh, he also said that he didn't want his court. He didn't want to fight that same weekend of UFC 268 because his corner man, one of them, I believe, has a jiu-jitsu tournament that has been set out there for already a couple months in advance, and it's around that weekend. So they don't want to fight without his corner. I completely understand that, okay? But had an opportunity, wanted to fight Frankie Edgar, you know, uh, for UFC 269 in, uh, in Las Vegas in December. But Frankie Edgar wanted to fight in MSG. Don't. Don't blame the guy, so he's fighting Marlon Chito Vero. Now, hopefully, Sean O'Malley is going to end up fighting somebody that's ranked. Who will that be? I have no idea because Cody Garbrand is going to fight Kai Kara France in December. All right. Will he fight somebody of, of Rob Font? I highly doubt it. I don't think he has a fight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe he might have to fight somebody like a Cody Stamen or a Song Yudong. Or something along that nature, where they're not high—they're not high up in the rankings. They're in that 15, 14, 13 echelon. But I feel that the what's it called with, with uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley, you know, he should be asking for these for main event fights just because if he's if he's so worried about on how much he's going to get paid and how much money he deserves, that's the only way for the UFC to you know get you get you closer and closer to the to the number that you're looking for in your UFC contract but highly disagree with him you know he should be main eventing he is a name he is a star okay even though he hasn't beat anybody high in caliber uh with a with a great resume you know the guy has potential the guy has potential he's a very tall bantamweight all right is he one of the biggest stars in bantamweight he might be all right, but hype around it. There's a lot of hype behind Sugar Sean O'Malley. All right, you know you have it's a very deep division. You have Jose Aldo in that division, Peter Yan, the champ, uh, uh, Aljamain Sterling, Rob Font, T.J. Dillashaw. All right, you got Corey Sanhagen. The list goes on and on with this. All right, and Sugar Sean O'Malley, if he actually started fighting ranked fighters, I believe he has a good chance of winning, and he and he will easily slide his way back into. You easily slide away into like a top five discussion on whether or not is he one of the best bantamweights in the world. But that's just my personal opinion, guys. Let me know. Let me guys. Let me know what you guys think about this. All right. Should Sugar Sean O'Malley be fighting, you know, in fight night main events, or should he be following the same path that he's he's doing right now, which he's beating up on unranked fighters, and you know, fighting on pay per view cards. Fighting on the highest part of the card as possible, fighting the lowest ranked fighter. Right? Let me guys know. Let me let me know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think that he should continue what he's doing, or should she, he should break out of his shell and finally fight ranked fighters so he could get closer and closer to possibly facing uh, fighting for a title in the near future? Until then, guys, I'm your host Flav Oriana. Thank you for tuning in to Flav Oriana's MMA show. Please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. That really does help out the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys, and have a good one.